All right, this is uh, my post-fight analysis of McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather. Um, it reached round ten, and I think listening to McGregor's analysis, his own analysis here is is very very accurate. Um, I think he was probably about a couple of rounds down by about round ten. He would have lost round ten as well. So a lot of people were saying Mayweather would dominate the fight. He didn't dominate the fight, and I honestly think if uh, McGregor had another week or two with a a boxer who could have um, maybe just uh, coached him a little bit better, um, I, I didn't see enough combinations. That's that's one of the things that I could I could criticise him in, um, but. Mayweather uh, was not impressive at, at all, and as he says here, if he if he could have gotten to the the last couple of rounds, you never know. He might have produced a a burst of energy. He didn't get knocked out. The fight was actually stopped by the referee. I don't think the referee did a good job at all um, on multiple occasions. I haven't even watched the full fight, but on multiple occasions that I saw. Uh, Mayweather was turning his back and there was no points taken off for that which is very surprising and you would think that you know someone coming even coming in to the professional boxing game his first fight that they would be in a little bit more fair fairer and respectful to McGregor so I think that uh, the referee did a terrible job with regards to that it's the first time I've ever criticised the referee, but it was just uh, like ev every round, um, every time McGregor got Mayweather in the corner, Mayweather was turning his back, and uh, I would have I would have taken points off for that. And it's not as if you know Connor was 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 sort of flipping him round. I mean, it wasn't MMA fight, you know. So uh, yeah, major criticism. I think they were just trying to protect Floyd's legacy. You can see the professional game. They're all just trying to protect his unbeaten record. But I honestly think another week or two, maybe with someone like Mike Tyson, um, I think that McGregor could have could have um, caused a, an upset here. And so that's my post-fight analysis. Just let's listen to a little bit of uh, what Connor's saying. Uh. That, that was what killed me, I think, because I blew, I blew energy taking his back, and then I'm like, I'm at his back, and then the referee separates it, so. I enjoyed it, though. I enjoyed it very much. The whole build-up was completely different, so. Do you feel like he was ducking down? Do you feel like he was turning back his back? Do you feel like he was thinking to preserve his own energy and to tire you out there? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I go through that 10 ground, I think then he has to deal with his energy. So anyway, look, if you think of the DS3, he had that little wobbly stage, but then he, then he blew his muck. And then four, round four was mine, and round five was mine. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It come true. So that's what I'm thinking. If I had got to that, to that corner and got my composure, then I'm thinking he's had to throw a lot of shots, and I'm still here. Now it's him that has to deal with his energy. So that's why I was a bit upset that it got stopped like that. Let me go to me. Unless I go down. Do you know what I mean? He's not, he's not a powerful puncher. You know what I mean? He's composed, but he's not powerful, so that shouldn't have been stopped, I don't think. I know this is a really hard question to answer, but where do you feel like you go from here? Is I'm having a clue. I have not got a clue, mate. Well, I'll tell you. Um, I think if he if he had a rematch with some decent training, I think he he's a very good chance of maybe taking on, let's say, another professional boxer. I think Floyd now will be retired, so I think maybe someone, some other professional boxer, I think uh, maybe take the fight. You know, if he wants to develop his his boxing career, but uh, who knows? But I think I'll have a fight against this guy, Gavin McGuinness. It'll be my first professional fight. Who wants to see me fight Gavin McGuinness? A, a little turncoat, little uh, I think Canadian guy, you know, from Scotland, and you know, talking about uh, getting out of the UK, out of Glasgow. Well, well. Gavin, <laughs> if it's been so bad here in the UK, you know, all I see you doing there is growing a growing a silly beard and wearing silly glasses. So let's get it on, Gavin. By the way, you know you can check my other videos out. I correctly predicted 
the um, Tyson Fury uh, win as well and I predicted this fight um, exactly if you watch a few videos ago uh, the one about Big Ben I, I told you exactly how the fight would go um, I said that McGregor doesn't have enough experience yet in the boxing to cause an upset but I said he'll come close to knocking out Floyd and he did in the first three rounds I believe he came very very close and yet you know just uh, Mayweather's experience just uh, turned the fight around uh, and I saw that's what would happen so again I've correctly predicted the fight here no big deal for me if you want to see me in action my first opponent will be Gavin McGuinness thanks for watching